Hey, uh, it's Tinla here and uh, welcome to the channel. Today I want to update my Windows 10 system up to Windows 11 uh, operating system, okay? Um, but when I go to my update page, I got a problem saying that this PC doesn't currently meet the minimum system requirements to run Windows 11. So I get a PC health check to see what the problem is um, in order to correct in order to fix it okay so you can go and download the PC health check app over here so save it into your computer and once it's downloaded you can run it and find out what the problem with your system okay so let's run it see introducing Windows 11 you can go and check now and as you say that this PC must support secure boot um, I know that this PC supports secure boot. That's easy to do. And the TPM 2.0, which is the trusted platform machine or something like that, must be supported and enabled on this PC. So uh, all you can do now is uh, to log into your BIOS system in order to change some settings to support TPM 2.0. Okay. So, so that's the problem that we have to fix in order to get Windows 11 onto this uh, Windows 10 system. So to close this down, I'm gonna switch the camera to show you how I change it onto my uh, uh, BIOS system. So I'm gonna uh, shut down this machine and boot into the uh, BIOS. Let's say restart. So depends on your uh, motherboard, either press F1 or delete key or F10 uh, to access the BIOS system. Okay, so uh, I press the delete key to in order to get into the BIOS. I want to access the settings um, from my BIOS and go to miscellaneous uh, and go into trusted computing. And security device support it. Is it enable? That's okay. That's enable already. So escape to exit out. After this one, enable, you go into the Intel platform trusted technology. Uh, and we enable it. So select enable. And then once it enable, um, we can enable. Okay, here it is. So it's a, it's a storage boot option control UEFI. So it's enable. So that's the requirement for Windows 11 as well. So, so once I change that, I go into save and exit. And so it confirmed that we're going to change this one, the Intel platform trust technology uh, from disable into enable. And now we select yes to, uh, to confirm the change and save it, the configuration. Okay. So one that is, um, save you to reboot into the Windows uh, 10. All right, I'm going to switch to my uh, OBS to capture the screen. OK. Um, OK, welcome back. And um, after we change some setting in the BIOS, uh, we come back in here and run the PC health check again to see if everything is OK. So let's check now. So again, this PC must support secure boot. Okay. Um, okay. What's the problem? Uh, the reason I'm going to show you this uh, system information. Okay. So if you go in here and you take a look at the BIOS mode, uh, I say that legacy legacy means that your hard drive is in the MBR, which is the master boot record disk that using the legacy booting mode. So you have to change this one BIOS mode into UEFI, but in order to have UEFI enable, you need to have your disk in GPT, which is a GUI D a partition table disk using the UEFI interface. Uh, so I'm going to go into computer management here for you to see. So as uh, you can see that I have a couple of disks in my system. Uh, the disk number three, which is the C drive that I'm using the MBR uh, master boot record uh, has two volumes here. Um, 
the difference between the master boot record and BR disk are if they use the standard uh, BIOS partition table, the GUI D partition table, the GPT disk are uh, using the UEF UEFI uh, interface, uh, extensible firmware interface, whatever that means. The advantage of the GPT disk is that you can have more than four partitions uh, on each disk. Um, the GPT also require for the disk larger than two terabyte. So that's the GPT basically a newer than the master boot record disk kind of thing that we've been using for a long time. And this Windows 11 really pushing hard to convert every disk into the GPT because nowadays we a lot of people using more than terabyte. A hot disk and then it doesn't have any limitation on the partitions as opposed to the MBR that limits only four partitions and the reason that you have to keep in mind that if you want to convert your MBR disk into the GPT you're gonna lose all the data so make sure that you back up all the information that you want uh, before converting so I'm I'm really stuck with this uh, if you don't want to change, uh, you stuck. You're gonna be stuck in Windows 10, uh, which is okay for some people. But if you want to go for Windows 11, you need to convert this disk into the GPT. That's the way to support the secure boot. So make sure that you can back up before you go ahead and convert this MBR disk into the GPT disk. All right. So I'm gonna find out how to do that. But before you actually doing this, to make sure that you download Windows 11 into your USB uh, boot disk. So let's let's get Windows 11. Make sure that you have Windows 11 downloaded uh, into your USB in order to in case that you need to fresh install Windows 11. Okay, okay. You can go here, download Windows 11 here. You uh, the way I do it, I create Windows 11 installation media on USB. Just hit download and. Uh, run this file and then just um, confirm uh, so make sure that I have the secure boot uh, okay UEFI I'm gonna disable this one um, this is probably the old version okay and we're gonna boot into this this one the uefi this is my usb so i'm gonna move it to top and i'll save that all right so right now I'm booting into my USB disk which has uh, Windows 11. Uh, so click next. Uh, let's install now. So as I said, because I'm gonna delete my uh, uh, C drive, I'm gonna lose all my data. And I convert that C drive into the UEFI, the, uh, the GUI D. Uh, partition table which is the GPT disk uh, I don't have a product key okay accept next custom install okay what's what does it say the selected disk has the MBR partition table on EFI system windows can only be installed in gpt disk so that's what it means so i think this one is my c drive before so i'm gonna delete this uh partition uh, to make sure i delete the right one delete okay then i just, all right and i got there you go uh we am uh delete this one so basically at this point, I'm pretty much lost my C drive for Windows 10. So now refresh. Forget it, just click in here, did it next. So basically Windows is gonna convert that disk into the GPT automatically. So I think that after this, um, 
my desk will be GPT. I'll show you later on. So you know that I already lost the Windows uh, 10 partition. So pretty much everything gone from the C drive. So make sure that you, if you, in case that you want to keep any information from the C drive, at that point, you need to back up your system, okay? Since I didn't want to back up anything, uh, that's the beauty of it because I keep all my library, my photos uh, from the C drive. I don't keep uh, my documents. I don't keep my uh, photos. I don't keep my um, videos whatever not from the c drive i keep them separately from different desks okay so hopefully everything will be okay so this is the installation of windows uh, 11 and basically windows 11 convert the mbr uh, master boot record disk into the gpt disk which is a newer uh, has no limitation on the partitions which I really don't care okay so let's go into the boot mode again so hopefully it will boot back into the C drive all right we are almost finished install windows 11 so as a matter of walking through some of the selection and in, and up you go the windows 11 updated uh for today okay that's it guys uh, thank you for watching this videos if you think it's helpful please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye